Today we're going to talk about swinging at the first pitch because many people have asked me, is it good or bad? And so we're going to get right into it. All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name is Jermaine Curtis and today we're going to talk about swinging at the first pitch because I've been, I've been getting many messages about should I swing or should I not? And, uh, you know, I'm here to give some advice and help all the young players. So we're going to get right into it. But before we do, please hit that like button and smash the post notifications and join the future pros family. Um, it's going to update you with all the new videos that I post. And uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. You know, it helps me out, give me topics for the video. So is it good or bad to swing at the first pitch? And before I answer that question, I'm going to share with you a story. And honestly, in the story, you'll get the answer. So all the way back, let's go back to when I played in travel ball, high school. Um, I had this limiting belief, this belief that I needed to see pitches. And it made me successful because I learned how to hit. I learned how to see pitches. I controlled the strike zone and I didn't get myself out early, right? But I had this belief that I couldn't, that, that I needed to see one pitch to get the timing. And so again, it worked well for me um, and, and I wouldn't change it, but I took that all the way until about five years ago and I remember having a conversation with my mentors because the reason why I had that conversation with my mentors is because I had to sit down with the team, the St. Louis Cardinals, and they're like, hey, you know, we want you to, you know, start driving the ball more, hit for more power. So I said, hmm, okay. I called my mentors up. I showed them my numbers, my breakdown. What I mean is that, like, in pro ball, they have your breakdown. What are you hitting with? Oh, oh, what are you hitting with runners in scoring position? What are you hitting? Oh, one, oh, two. Like they have everything broken down so you can know, like, where's your advantages? Like, what's your, you know, what, what pitches you hit well and things like that. So basically, you get an analysis on what you do well. And I sent that to my mentors. My mentors is like, hey, man, why aren't you swinging? Oh, oh. And I told them that. I feel that I don't have the timing and I feel uncomfortable and the last thing that I want is to hit a soft out on the first pitch at my bat. I don't, I don't like giving up in the bat and they're like, no, what are you, what are you talking about? Like the higher you go up, the better these pitches are and you can't just give them a pitch. You can't just give them a strike. And so it all makes sense. And, you know, I was at that point where I wanted to change some things and get some results. Well, I started swinging. Oh, oh. So I started swinging. Oh, oh. And it was uncomfortable at first, but it yielded great results. And I'll explain how. So basically, I would go up there and what my power numbers, my doubles and home runs went up and I didn't eliminate, I didn't sacrifice my walks. I thought that was one of the things that would get sacrificed was walks because I'm going up there hacking at the first pitch. Well, I still was walking a lot. I was probably walking even a little bit more and I didn't want to, I didn't want to sacrifice my walks because that was one of the things that I was known for that I can get on base. Like I control the strike zone and I can get on base. So I didn't want to eliminate that. But at the same time, I want to do damage. So I was like, you know what? I got to do it. So what happened was, again, I hit more doubles, I hit more home runs. And I walked because pitchers were scared to just throw the fastball right down the middle. They start trying to throw an oh, oh, all speed pitch and they would throw it for a ball. And so I ended up being in more hitters counts and that allowed me to be more successful. So if I had to give some advice out there, I would say start swinging at the first pitch if it's in your zone and it's a pitch to hit it. Don't go up there swinging at the first pitch. If it's a bad pitch, it has to be in the zone and you have to know you have to swing at good pitches. 
because the last thing you want to do is swing as the swing at a bad pitch and it'd be a weak out you know it's weak contact so swing at good pitches inside the strike zone and don't let the pitcher just have a free strike I was doing that early in my career all the way up and that was the scouting report you could get a strike you can steal a strike from Jermaine because he's just going to take the first pitch but when I changed my mindset and said no I'm an aggressive hitter and by the way how I did that was I visualized I will start visualizing myself swinging at the first pitch walking straight to the plate I would even act it out in my rooms and I would walk up to the plate and I visualize myself hacking at the first pitch and I'm talking about hacking and another thing I did too is on that first pitch I took a monster hack and I sent a statement to everybody in the uh, the other dugout and uh, on the other clubhouse the other dugout I sent the statement to all the pitchers that you just can't throw a fastball there so even if I fouled it off I sent them a statement and that was what I was trying to do was I want you to know that that was my plate and you couldn't throw a fastball right over the middle of the plate and get called a strike so they started nibbling and then I started getting them more hitters counts and then more doubles happened more home runs and I walked more and I hit more RBIs and and I just had I just started thriving so if you're a player out there be aggressive inside the zone don't let the pitchers don't be passively aggressive um, you have to I mean I guess you have to be passively aggressive it has to mean that the ball has to be over the middle of the plate if it's not then you don't swing so passively it's over the middle of the plate you bring aggressive on it so I guess you would be that um, but be aggressive on those pitches those mistakes and you control the strike zone. Thank you guys. I appreciate you. I'm signing out. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If you found value in this video, you're going to love these videos right here. So click right here to get more videos. And here's the thing, I add drills. So you're gonna learn new drills that's gonna help you. So go and click that link right there and watch more videos. Again, thank you and I'll see you in the next video.